Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. I promised that I would do more of my Dollar Tree haul gifts and this is the one that I'm going to make bath soaks and I bought this ball at the Dollar Tree. I will tell you it has a little uh, dent in it that didn't make me happy but I'm going to see if I can pop that out. It it pops out but it leaves a little mark and pops back in right away so watch that when you're getting the, your balls at the Dollar Tree if you do and uh, this one is so big that it would hold a lot of the of our bath salts so we'll wait and see I also have these little ornaments that uh, open up and I'm gonna decorate those plus I have this jar that I showed you in my last haul that I got at Family Dollar and it was left over from Halloween and it was a dollar fifty I think it was a really good deal so this is another inexpensive gift and I think most women really enjoy bath soaks it's uh, soothing makes you feel good about yourself and I especially like them I'm gonna start out with I used about half of my jar of the bath soak and I'm going to use Sweet Orange because it's one of my favorite scents opener. And I'm going to put about 20 drops in there. I want this to smell like a um, uh, orange sickle. Remember those? Is that what they're called? Cream sickles. That's what they were called. So we're shooting for cream sickle smell. So I've got the sweet orange in, and now I'm going to put some vanilla in. And this one doesn't have a dropper in it, unfortunately. So I'm just going to put some in my spoon, about that much. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, and I'm just going to drip it around too. And then I'm going to make sure that all of my oils have completely blended with my bath soak. Now remember when you do this that you want to make sure that if you buy the one that's vanilla scented that you remember that you're going to have a base of vanilla. If you buy the one that's lavender scented it's going to have a base of lavender so you won't be able to eliminate that smell. You'll only be able to make things complement it hopefully. I like the smell of that. It's um, I think it needs a little bit more vanilla though. It's very orangey as compared to the vanilla. I bought my essential oils um, online at a place called Sun Essential Oils and then I bought uh, one from Beauty Aura and then I bought some at garage sales so I've bought mine from a ton of places okay we're gonna go with that ought to do it for this that much and I'm going to let those sit and absorb the scent put that aside and now I'm gonna decorate my ornament I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one first and I'm going to set it in the lid to the uh, the bath soak. That way it will be uh, flat on a flat surface. I also bought at the Dollar Tree some decorations, which of course I have right here, but they are MIA. Let me, there they are. They're green, uh, teardrop shaped, and I thought they would be pretty around the top of the bowl. They do have uh, their own stickers on them, and we'll see how sticky that works. And I also have, I have this, so I'm going to start with this. It, it was in my stash. I don't even remember where I got it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of a, a wavy pattern with it if I can and that way I can kind of hide that piece I don't like 
obviously the ball won't be able to you won't be able to get it wet but um, I really didn't think that the person I give this to would want to get it wet I thought they would want to use it as more like hang it on the tree and then once Christmas is over use it in the bathtub and then probably get rid of it that's what I would think. I don't know for sure. Okay. So I have kind of three little ovals on the top. And I think what I'm going to do is see how my little green pieces work. Obviously, they don't even want to come out of the bag. Okay. Put that up more. Hopefully they were in frame the whole time. Then I'm going to see if the sticker on the back works. If it doesn't, then I'll just put hot glue on them. But I thought it would be fun to just kind of set these into the middle of those. So I put, put the green ones on, and I have these red ones. I thought I would, they're circular. These are also from the Dollar Tree. Gotta love that Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put those, whoops, a little bit too close. Put those right there. All we need to do, I have these, these are buttons that I got from Joann's, but I don't think, I think that's enough. I'm going to put those on my other jar instead. So now all I need to do, I'm going to make a cone out of just regular paper, you know, like typing paper, copy paper, whatever you call it. Let's see if I can spoon some in there. smells really good. And it's going all over now. I just fill my little funnel up. Okay, so our next step is going to be to put a ribbon on. I'm just going to put one little dab of glue on the side of our ornament topper. And that way I can make sure that I can glue our ribbon down without having any kind of worries that it's not going to stay. <clears throat> or that once I tie the bow, it's not going to look right. So we're just going to hopefully tie a nice little bow and be done with it. thought I would just sit down for a second tie it right here. So in the end, this is what my gift box is going to look like. What I did was I took uh, some lavender oil and some vanilla oil and I put in these littler ones because I think one of these should make one bath. And then I decorated them all a little bit differently with a little bit of bling. And this one's got some snowflakes on it. I just thought they would be cute to just decorate a little bit differently. And I did put hangers on them. So if afterwards they wanted to use them as Christmas decorations, there's one more, they could. 
and then this is my big heavy one and this one weighs a ton this ought to do several baths but it really came out cute I think and it smells really great it smells like um, creamsicles as I said before and then this was a picture frame that I bought that I just added a little bit more stickles and a little bit more bling to it it just needed a little something and it I thought it was cute so I thought I would put that in there as well and I'll probably add a couple more pine cones when I'm finished but I really like the end result and I hope you did too and this was another of my Dollar Tree hauls so the ball was a dollar the um, the bath salts that filled all of these was a dollar so um, it made several gifts and then the scents if you have essential oils that um, would really m make this a very very inexpensive gift but if you don't have them I would recommend buying very basic ones like lavender if you like the smell of it and vanilla or vanilla and orange and if you buy the small bottles y you know you could make several of these gifts for not a lot of money probably between the two bottles you'd have maybe twelve dollars invested in um, in your essential oil so you'd be able to make one two three four five little gifts for roughly fifteen dollars total so it would be three dollars a piece so I hope you enjoyed this and give it a thumbs up and subscribe I do have our next video coming up should be the one of the Christmas tree album the mini album using the bags that I've talked about incessantly I thank you so much for watching bye bye